What's up guys, Chasing Larry here with episode number 191 of Welcome to Roxham. I stay we're in the Champions League against Hibernian, the Scottish one. They're the champions of Scotland. True story. Champions versus champions. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave the comments down below. I'll see you on the other side of the intro. And let's go win Britain, I guess. So, just the two games since we last met then should make the catching up process much easier than their last episode. Uh, we played Tottenham in the fourth round of the League Cup. We've eaten 3-2. Goals for Fish, Teshkel and Jimenti. We then beat Villa in the League 2-1. Goals from Reich and Fish uh, for the quarter-final of the, uh, of the League Cup. We're going to be playing Nottingham Forest. That would probably be our next game, I think. We'll see how it goes. See how I feel after we play Hips. Which is today's game. We are a home to here in the Champions League. Should be pretty exciting, I guess. Straightforward. Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? Let's get me the load up, shall we? So, starting out there, then it's going to be Garda and Goal, Alberto, Hudson, Carlos, Emerson, Strecker, and Lucian Andre as the back four. We've got Carlotto, Saya Emery, and Duke Bellingham making it on channel debut. Gamar, Moraes on the wings, Dylan up top. On the bench, Ankovic, Serna, Angeloni, Nunez, Coboyo, York, Christiansen, Fish, Burns, Campbell, Chimenti, and Tedeschel. So, very mixed bag of a team. I uh, haven't got Chimenti a start yet, but I will do. In fact, now I see for you, I mean, shall we just... Because he's not started a game for us yet, and because Jorge Moraes played a lot of football, let's let Chimenti start on the left outside. That could be good. We'll do that. Let's get to the dressing room. So for our team talk, I think the where the favourites should be winning this comfortably is actually a pretty good shout. We'll tell everyone to go and do their best because, uh, well, frankly, we're playing the champions of Scotland. There is national pride at stake. Let's get this done. Match will be underway. Surely we are, as always, as we've seen in our 4 5 one Keep betting on the captain's state because Jorge Marais is not playing. Uh, against us, we have got... Hibernian, who we're playing a 4 5 one as well. Um, Pascal Chumu is probably their best uh, known player. He's actually a real he's a real life player. He has play, he's playing for us with Benin on our other journey save off the top of my head. Um, yeah, he should still be in the squad in that save, I believe. So that's where we know him from. Uh, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. We're a boss in our Alexis having a moment. Oh, we're in our blue. Let's, uh, let's put Alexa to bed. Right. Oh, Alexa. Uh, she's so annoying. All uh, right. Hips are in green. We're in blue. Uh, and we are going to try and get a win in the Champions League. That's the plan. Throw it for Andre for Roxham up to Bellingham. Back to Andre Cimenti to Saya Emery, who gets into a scrap with Doherty. John Dowds forward to Dickoff. Dickoff back to Gunyan. Gunyan to Shemish. Uh, most of this team, this hips team, actually is, uh, is not even regions. They're great out players. Funny enough, but there we go. Bathgate forward to Chumu to uh, John Dowds. Doherty, Doherty back to Schmitten over the top, but Strecker breaks it down. Andre into Chimenti. Chimenti going on a run here. Finds it to Bellingham. He goes through to Gary Dillon. The Scottish international can't quite get a shot away. Has a little play. Flicks it into Gamar, who can't win it in the air because in spite of two. Carlotto heads it over the bar because he's too tall or something. I don't know how that works. Anyway, corner coming for Roxham. And Chimenti is the man that is going to take it. Can he find a head? He can find a head. He finds the head of Alberto. And that is 1-0. We are taking the initiative here at Roxham Stadium. I haven't been to actually this season. We are back at Roxham Stadium. It's been rebuilt, reconstructed, expanded, ready for the Champions League. Because that's what we need as a Champions League side to be playing at our beautiful new stadium, which has had a little upgrade and a lick of paint. One nil though to the Yachtsman, and hopefully the first of many. Throw it, and Frey takes it to Bellingham, back to Andre, Chiminti now on the ball for Fonsay Henry. Bellingham, a little touch, gives him a turn, Chiminti gets it free. Alberto tries to find Say Henry, but it falls to Carlotto instead. And now Alberto, going for a run down the way, finds Demar. With a little back heel to Alberto to Gamar again. And Gamar is brought down in the box. And I feel like it's going to be a penalty. 
to be taken by probably Warren Sayer Emery is probably our penalty taker on the pitch right now. Um, and we'll see if that's right or not. Uh, I can't see the back of his shirt, so probably we'll have to assume we're right. We are right. Warren Sayer Emery take the penalty, puts it away. Job, he is a dun. He's not actually our penalty taker. Usually Emery Tesco would be our penalty taker. This is the difference. So today we are 2 0 up, and uh, well, we're looking pretty solid. We're going to promise the boys just uh, just let know we appreciate all their hard work, all that good stuff they do to make me look really good on the channel. And uh, there we go. We are 2 0 up against Hibs. And uh, well, the battle of Britain is becoming more of a, a beat down, to be honest. Hold on, Gary Dillon takes in this time into the box with Carlotto with a head over the bar. And uh, well, that came to. Very, very little, very, very quickly. But we're we're looking okay. Still, I'd like to say we are still looking for sure like uh, we can dominate this one. So it's all blue on Matt Romentum, which is good to see. Free kick now. Chimenti takes it into the box. Looking for Carlotto with a head over his first this season. Uh, and that's going to be given us offside, apparently. How are you managing to be offside from a free kick? It's not even difficult. How have you achieved this? He can't have been offside. I don't think he was offside. Unless Sonia Emery strayed offside when he headed it. But no. No one's offside there. Behave yourself. That's 3-0. We'll take that all day. And we're going to praise the boys just ahead of half time. Because they need to know we love and appreciate what they're doing here. Because what they're doing here is absolutely dominating. And that's what we like to see here on the channel. So... Three and a half time. They haven't even registered their she yet, which is nice. Uh, no shots attempted whatsoever, which is how would we work to keep it. Let's tell the boys that we're happy with how we've done everything so far. No one needs rewarding. They are, in fact, the professional footballer, so we can get the second half underway. And hopefully, goal number four is coming. Dal with a goal kick to hips goes deep. Can we win this in the air? We have done with Carlos. Kumar over the top of the Fuchimenti finding deserves a goal after the fourth play. It's really nice getting one. As uh, Malloy cuts it back for John Dowds, who is looking to make a run. Malloy now having another run at us. Uh, but can we can we defend? No, no, apparently not. We've conceded a goal to John Dowds, who for some reason gets the entire name. I don't know why it refers to John Dowds in the squad. I haven't looked. Didn't ask the question. Doesn't really matter. Either way, we've conceded against him, which was not really what we were looking to do. But sometimes these things happen. It is just unfortunately the way of football. And uh, we've still got 40 minutes to go. We can still find some more goals. We don't need to panic just yet. We just need to, you know, keep the professional and finish the job off. Throw in now with Alberto. Ball rocks and finds a side with down the line for Gamar. Gamar. Looking to see what he can do. Hit the mark cutting inside. Back to Carlotto. Carlotto to Bellingham. Bellingham with a pop for Ray. Just goes over the bar. And uh, he's still not, uh, not scored a goal on camera for us. He needs to be doing that soon. Because otherwise you'll start thinking I waste a lot of money. Our old Jude Bellingham. Which, you know, isn't the case. Breaking out with Carlos. Had some goals to centre half. To Gamar. Forward to say Emery. Flicks over the top for Chimenti. Can he get a hat trick of assists here? Cuts it back for Andrei into the box. Gamar tries to win the header. Dylan will win the header, but it goes over the bar. And uh, we're still not able to get that fourth goal. Gunnian now with a ball to Sanderson to Chimu to John Dowse, the goal scorer of Pips. We've broken it down. Nunez and Serdak both for our subs to uh, break things down. And Fish now, who's gone on the right wing for Gamar, wins it back. Chimenti edge of the box. Oh, it's a tackle from Dowd. Puss and he just flicked that away with the outside of his beam. That was uh that was quite the goal from Luke Pichimenti, it's gotta be said. That was quite an impressive finish. Let's have a look at that again on his first start for the club. Fish put puts the ball through to Chimenti cuts inside, skips over Dowd, and then just has a little stab. I don't even think he put his foot. I think that was G Bellingham that scored that. But uh, you know, benefit of the belt and all that good stuff. If I'm talking to you, Belly, I mean, he's looking a little bit tired, so we might just take him off and send in Tim York. Because why not? We've not seen Tim York, but I've just seen Misha Andre is broken. Oh well, that's life. Uh, so it's been made now. We'll, uh, we'll see how this all goes, shall we? See if we can get another goal. Goal number five should be coming here, hopefully. As uh, say, everybody gets tackled by Hawkins, so not quite that straightforward. Alberto makes the long run back to win it back, because apparently Nunez 
is too good to run forward five steps and keep the play roll rolling. And New Year's fine say ever it's through to fish, fish through to Tashgirl, Tashgirl's through. Tashgirl scores its pit the season. He's not been playing it often this season because he's sort of been surpassed by Gary Dillon. He started the season injured and Gary Dillon came in and just started scoring a bunch of goals. So Tashgirl's not really going to look him, but he's got a goal today. I'd like to see him get his way back into the team. Otherwise, he might be moving on in January, but if I can still get nine figures for him. And uh, if he's not playing, I might just take that cash. Sign so, Emery now on the ball. Death tackled by Jaron Stoby Hawkins. Hawkins needs to get uh, all over the top and finds Malloy, who uh, was his best out when it has to be set in for the box. And Shamu denied by Casper Garda in the Rotten goal. And Alberto's brow for a throw. And uh, we have kept ourselves alive again. Uh, it's goal number six coming for us, though. And Bray's got himself a free kick. Finds Serac to Carlotto. Carlotto to Say and Emily through to Fish. Oliver Fish will have a pot. Oliver Fish will put it away. Because Oliver Fish will eight goals. 6 1. And uh, the Rocks of Rout is being absolutely completed. I mean, the, there was, it was nef, never in doubt. Despite the fact the Scottish League has become more competitive in itself, I think it's become less competitive European boys. I think what's happened is Rangers and Celtic have got worse rather than Hibs and Aberdeen getting better. So I think that's what we're actually seeing here. Either way, it's uh, it's a nice 6-1 win, it looks like. Well, I'm a fish of Tom as a sub and stolen with tremendous turn of the match award. But, uh, you know, all fair in love and water and all that good stuff. That's full time. And we have done really, really well today, it has to be said. Uh, let's go with the clear for the performance and we'll move on and blah, blah, blah. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Everyone seems okay, I guess, with that. Nothing too spectacular, but we have done with this. There we are still in that top eight, which is what's most important. There are four games left to go in the group stage as well, just behind Barcelona and Tottenham. So we are still among your big boys, despite the weathery goodness that we have had to endure today. So... Let's look at the where we're coming back before we get into anything else. I said, be here to jump into anything else at all. We'll come back for the Forest game. That looks like a really good place to come back. Uh, we can come back for the Forest game in the League Cup because we've not played Forest on the channel in ages, I feel like. I do like Forest, so I think that's where we're going to come back. We'll come back for that Nottingham Forest game. That feels like it's probably a really good option for us. So... In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. I have, as always, been chasing lately, and I'm very grateful that you've chosen to join me. Share this with your friends, leave the comments, all that stuff down below, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.